Hi, I'm Dave. Welcome back. Today I want to talk about success. We all like it. We all like success. Brilliant feeling. And before I talk about it, I want you to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and click on the bell to stay notified of my future content. Now, success, what is it? it it's achieving something. It's achieving a goal that you might have set, or achieving something that you just happened to have come across. Yeah, maybe you had an opportunity arise and you've, you've got something and you never thought it was gonna happen and there's a, su a success for you, okay? Now, too many people think that success means you're getting better than other people. It's not, it, it really isn't. You're never, you're never truly on your own. You've, all, pardon me, you've always gotta have that you know, network of people around you that have given you some kind of encouragement. Now, if you set yourself a goal, let's say you're in some form of sport, and you set yourself a goal of getting to the top, being the best of that sport, that's great. But if you don't acknowledge the input that other people have had into your success, then you're going to be very lonely on your way up. You're going to be very lonely when you get there, and more importantly, you're going to be very lonely on your way back down as other people do what you did and walk over you to take your place. So let's change our way of thinking. It's lonely at the top, so let's get there together. Every time you achieve something, anything, let yourself celebrate it. Okay? And I've said in other videos about relative effort. Some people can put in relatively little effort and achieve great things. Some people can put in a relatively large amount of effort and, and feel like they're struggling to achieve anything in their life. But who is the judge? Any kind of achievement is great. Okay, And, and I'm not going to rehash the video I did before about relative effort, but if getting out of bed in the morning is an effort for you, celebrate your success. If getting your job promotion is what you want and you get it, then celebrate your success. If becoming a uh, champion in your, your chosen sport is your goal, then celebrate your success if you get there. And I, you know, I'm happy for you. Whichever of those goals you achieve, I am equally happy for you. But, but what I also want is for you to understand that, first of all, you didn't get anywhere and do anything by yourself. There are people around you who have helped you. We need that support. Okay? What's the point in any kind of success? If you're on your own, you've got no one to celebrate it with. You need to have people around you. Now, if you get to the top and you get there, you know, with as little help as possible, and you, do, you, you, you have the attitude of, I did it by myself, it's my success and mine alone, then you're going to alienate a lot of people in your life and your way up to the top is going to be very lonely. It's going to be very lonely whilst you're at the top and more importantly it's going to be very lonely when you come back down as other people do what you did and tread on you to get up there. It is lonely at the top so let's get there together. When you achieve any success no matter how big or small let's have a look at all the people in our lives around us and acknowledge that they shared that success with us. If getting your job promotion was your goal and you've just achieved it, then who taught you to do that job? Who has encouraged you on the way? Who has supported you at home, outside of the workplace? Yeah, All of these people are going to share in your success and if you allow them to share that success with you, they will be with you the whole way up. And they will be with you at the top. Now, here's the other thing. When you have that success, rather than being at the top, and treading other people down so that you try and stay there, when you get up to the top, how about you take hold of the next person and you pull them up with you. Let them have their time in the sun. Because when they're up there, maybe they'll do the same and pull up the next person. And if we all pull ourselves up with others, yeah, and when we go up, somebody pulls us up and we pull up the next person, then as I said, we all get to the top together. We all get to have our own little success. We all get to celebrate together, no matter what part you played in it, okay? Now, if you're the fittest and the fastest and the strongest and you get to that top first, great, that's a success for you. 
But if you're pulling everybody else up that's behind you, then they're going to enjoy that success as well. And then if you get to an obstacle that maybe they're better at than you, well, guess what? They'll be there to help you get over it as well. And maybe, you know, maybe you'll be able to then get back to the top and bring someone else up with you then. And we all get to enjoy it. So it's really important that we don't work in direct competition with each other in life. If you go into a sport, there's obviously an inherent competition. There's, there's voluntary competition. You are volunteering to compete against other people. But in life, this is not voluntary. There are people out there who don't want to be competing with you and you're forcing them into competition. Yeah? Well, don't. Don't tread others down who aren't even trying to compete with you. Bring them up with you. Maybe if other people around you are having that success as well, they will help pull you up. There's no shame in having help from other people. But we all get a lot of benefit from helping each other. Okay? And as I said, if you have a success and you can share that success with others around you, then that works both ways. Because when somebody else achieves something and they include you, you get to celebrate that success as well. Every day you're celebrating successes because everybody around you succeeds in something every day. There's always somebody succeeding in something and you'll celebrate every day and everybody will get to celebrate something every day. It doesn't matter whether you did it directly or whether it was somebody who you have contact with, somebody in your life. If we all celebrate it together, then we all have that great feeling of success and we all strive to improve ourselves even further. So when somebody tells you, I've done better than you, you're rubbish, I'm great, how do you feel? You feel crap and you just don't see the point in continuing. This is where it's not good to compete. If you've volunteered into that, you understand the risk, you understand that you might lose your football match, you might lose your boxing match. You go into it knowing that risk and you accept that you might lose. In life, we should all feel like we are able to succeed. And yes, David, you might say, there's going to be people who don't want to put any effort in that are just riding my coattails up to the top. Yeah, of course there is. So what? Okay. Now, if you isolate yourself and you try and get yourself up to the top and you have somebody with you who you think isn't pulling their weight and they're riding your coattails, well, yeah, it may feel like one hell of a burden for one person to carry another. But when there's 20 of you working together, 30, 40, 100, 1,000, a whole population working together, then what does that one person matter? Okay, but that goes to another video I did, the relative effort, and I'm not trying to rehash it, but you know, you may see somebody who's riding your coattail, but they might be doing their best to, to be able to enjoy and engage with other people on that journey may be in itself a massive success for them okay so if you're all working together having one person who you think isn't pulling their weight is not going to affect you you won't even notice one person yeah if there's a thousand people pulling one wagon they're not going to notice one person sitting on the wagon okay but by bringing them along on the journey they will feel that they're part of your success and by doing that, maybe they'll find something about themselves. Maybe they can see something that you can't see while you're pulling. Yeah? Said, I'm stick with the wagon analogy. If you're all pulling the wagon this way and they're sat on the wagon, they can see what's coming behind. Okay? They have value. If you if you're a ship, you know, you've got a hundred strong people rowing a ship, but it's no good if nobody can see. You need a helmsman and a, and a, and a watch. And, and you need a captain, you need all these other things that they might not be putting in the muscular effort to, to row, but they're all contributing. And all together, it works, and we all celebrate that success. So just because you think somebody doesn't pull their weight, doesn't mean you should leave them out of that success. Bring them along. Let them see how it feels to be part of this collective success. And when they feel that, you may find that they've got hidden talents that you didn't even know that they were contributing and maybe you learned something from them okay so don't ever just think of other people as riding on coattails everybody has a potential to bring something to the table no matter how big or small like i said it's all relative 
what they contribute might be everything to them, might not seem a lot to you, but what you do might seem like everything to you, and it might not seem like a hell of a lot to them. Okay, so we need to work together. We need to help each other improve every day, and we need to celebrate our success with others, and we need to celebrate others' success ourselves. It's lonely at the top, let's get there together. Let's not have this great big fall when other people clamber on top to get to the top. If we all get up there together, then nobody has to be the loser. We're all winners. We're all awesome. We're all great. We're all brilliant in our ways. And we all have to now start to see how we can bring that out in others and they will bring that out in us. So, success. Let's do it together. Okay. As always, thank you for watching to the end. I hope you take a little bit of value from what I'm saying. If you do, please like, subscribe, share and comment if you wish to do so. And find somewhere around the screen the links to subscribe and watch some of my other videos. So I hope you will engage with those, have a watch, take a little bit of something from them and give a little back by liking, sharing and commenting. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video.